So let's talk a little bit about kidney anatomy. Now the first thing to know is that the kidneys are what we call retroperitoneal. And what does that mean exactly? Well, it means that if we take a slice through this guy right here and look at him from above, he might look something like this, where this might be his belly button, and maybe here he has a spine. And there's actually a big cavity located right around here. And that cavity is lined by the peritineum. And inside the peritineum, we have all kinds of organs floating around. We have a stomach, we have bits of intestine, but the kidneys are not in the peritoneum. The kidneys are behind the peritoneum. So they're located somewhere back here and they're behind the peritoneum, which is why we call them retro peritoneal. So the fact that they're back here means that they're smushed up against all the other stuff that's back here, which includes muscles, fat, things like that. And so they're not freely floating, they're packed in tightly back here. And now the next thing to know about a kidney is what does it look like if we just look at it from the outside? Well, the first thing we notice is that there are about three tubes coming in and out of the kidney. The first thing we have is the renal artery. And that brings blood to the kidney and it comes directly off of the aorta. So if this is our aorta, one renal artery comes off each side of the aorta to go to each kidney. So this would be the aorta. And now the second tube here is the renal vein. And so that takes blood back out from the kidney. And that blood goes directly to the inferior vena cava which we often call IVC. Now finally, the third tube coming out here is what carries urine out of the kidney. So here is going all the stuff that we want to get rid of that we want to excrete. And this tube here is called the ureter. And the ureter carries all this urine to the bladder. And from there, it gets urinated out. 